My name is Brandon Tausick, and I'm a lens-based artist living between Los Angeles and Oakland, California. Pale Blue Dress is my most recent body of work, which examines Civil War reenactments here in California. The project is meant to give a sort of intimate look into these complex spaces, as they both embold participants to brandish the Southern cause, while also erasing slavery and emancipation from the Civil War story. Initially, I had no idea that Civil War reenactments were taking place in California, as the war was never fought here, and California is known to be a pretty progressive state. So back in 2017, when I happened to see a sign announcing a nearby reenactment, I decided to just show up with my camera. I was drawn to these geographic and cultural and kind of visual incongruities uh, as I photographed the project. Many reenactors I met participating in both the Union or the Confederate sides prescribed to tenets of what's called the lost cause. This is a somewhat popular mythology that claims that the cause of the Confederate states during the Civil War was blameless and heroic and not centered around preserving slavery. It attempts to uphold the honor of the Confederate South by casting its defeat in the best possible light. This photograph was made in Middletown, California. A volley is when a group of soldiers shoot in the same direction at the same time. In practice, often a line of soldiers fire their guns simultaneously at the enemy, followed by more lines of soldiers repeating the same maneuver. The volley fire, specifically with like musket guns used in the Civil War, was a maneuver used to compensate for the total inaccuracy and limited power of these weapons. At reenactments, they just fire in the air and see whether the Union or the Confederate side have a more kind of timed simultaneous fire. During the battles at reenactments, there is a plan laid out beforehand as to which side will lose and how the defeat will occur generally. So over time, soldiers pretend to die and then have to lay there in the hot sun until the battle is over, at which point they can stand up again and drink some water. Robert Broski is an actor who actually played the character called the Woodsman in the most recent Twin Peaks season. Uh, he also frequently portrays President Abraham Lincoln at Civil War enactments all over California, also in movies. Uh, he has a total splitting image. Here I photographed him just before giving a speech at a reenactment in Duncan's Mills, California. This image is of Nancy Whittle, a social worker from Fresno, California, who transforms herself into Harriet Tubman, who is the leader of the Underground Railroad. Despite the all-white and socially conservative slant of Civil War reenactments, she raves attending them to tell her story, which is the African-American story. Here she can be seen looking up at a white attendee, debating that which really should be of no debate. Toward the end of the project, I decided that I should probably reenact myself at least once. I joined a Confederate artillery battery in Fresno, California, and since I was new, they gave me the grunt job of Powder Monkey, which had me kind of running gunpowder back and forth to the big cannons during the battles. These are sort of overnight, multi-day events, so afterwards they all made a big campfire and sat around telling racist jokes and drinking whiskey. The way I see it, the Civil War reenactor movement really stands at a crossroads right now. I photographed this project during the Trump presidency when we saw white nationalism as a movement grow to new prominence. Reenactor ranks have been dwindling since its peak in the 1980s, which is around the time of the 125th anniversary of the war's beginning. These are, I would say, very strange spaces to be as an outsider. They're super racially homogenous, with almost all of the reenactors and audience members being white. And by and large, African Americans stay away from these events for obvious reasons. <laughs> 